Hi guys, welcome back. So now uh, here one of my student is facing problem here in this app run. So we'll have a look and uh, we'll run this app and we'll see like what is the issue. So first of all run the proposal and let's see what is the issue. Here we can click. So now let me come down. Okay, so the first issue is look at here. Uh, the street or PO box entry is missing. This is written here clearly. So what we have to do now, where is the vendor? So check the vendor here, here. So 458, right? Go to OX02, OX02, and no, sorry, XK02 slash N, XK02. And here you can check the vendor. Uh, the company code, I think, TOTO. So here the vendor number. Check the vendor, give the company code first. Yes, this one is the vendor and you have to check like address field. So in address generally, okay, so these details are missing. So I'll just type one, two, certain details. Then press enter, save it first. Okay, so that is there. Now what next? So this is who we have like, uh, we have specified the street details, PO box details. Now run the proposal and let's see if any other issue is there. Click here, come down and uh, bank details, right? Does not have allowed bank details. It means bank details are also missing. Definitely she is using, I think, payment method T, right? So bank details are also required. Now here, delete the proposal. And before that, you have to maintain here the bank details also where in payment transactions. So specify the bank details. Any particular bank can be specified, guys. Here I'm going to give, let's suppose, just paste it and save it. So our bank details are given. Now what next? Run the proposal once again. Press enter and come down. So I hope now it is done. So here, the, uh, what is it, this one? In the sense, the proposal is generated. And now she can run the payment. What she has to do, run the payment, that's it, right? So it is done, payment run will be done from her side. So whatever the issue is there, it is solved. Now simply click on payment run and payment can be posted.